Hey, Troopers of Royfield Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! So, I'm doing a little trailer reaction review today. Um, no, it's not to another superhero movie or anything, although those are always fun. Um, but actually to Glass Onion, a, um, a Knives Out mystery. Yes, I'm the umpteenth geek that loved the first movie. I mean, when it came out in 2019, talk about one of the great surprises of the year. I mean, it was like, uh, let me get this straight. 007 is playing a Southern detective and doing a ridiculous impersonation of Hawthorne Lake Horn. Hey, that's out of the mouth of Hugh, Chris Evans' character in the movie, okay? Um, you yeah, know, I mean, it was one of those offbeat things. I mean, it was a great cast, cool story with cool twists and everything, which leads to cha-ching, baby, and actually a couple Oscar nominations, too. Um, and because, I mean, it's, it was a surprising, unique thing. I mean, a lot of detective stories, you know, Superhero flicks aren't the only things that went, oh, dark and film noir-ish, okay? Um, you know, that thread that went from Chinatown, Maltese Falcon, through to um, through to films like Brick. Um, you know, Ryan Johnson's great, big, you know, exploding movie that got him big. Um, to L.A. Confidential, to even um, Chadwick Boseman's, one of his last films, 21 Bridges. Um, you know, the idea of film noir, dark detective stories, yada, yada, yada. I mean, you know, it's Hollywood tradition. This film went, nah, we're doing something different. And then, for me at least, it was a, it was a um, wonderful, fun, um, uh, wonderful, fun homage to the old Hercule Poirot movies, especially the ones that were done by um, Peter Ustinov. Uh, Evil Under the Evil Under the Sun and Death on the Nile, fun movies in their own. You know, as fun as a murdy mercy can be when you got a dead body. <laughs> Seeing you, uh, his, you know, that kind of the same idea. You know, these stellar casts with all sorts of kind of improbable things going on leading to a murder, and Peter Ustinov playing this at the risk of probably somebody's committing some sacrilege. To, to, you know, uh, to any fans of the original books. The way he played it was kind of Columbo-esque. You know, this disarming, offbeat, funny guy who was brilliant. Who always had a way of poking the bear just right. You know, minus the trench coat and the, excuse me, got one more question. <laughs> so, yeah, Knives Out was you know this wonderful surprise in in amongst all the films that have been coming out uh, in terms of crime films and murder mysteries um the sequel which actually is not a sequel um it brings again this amazing cast into another kind of weird we, uh, rather odd setting this weird murder mystery with giant i mean you know watching this trailer i'm, I'm reminded that who isn't in this dang movie? <laughs> I mean, seriously. And of course, Ed Norton, who I thought, and I think a lot of us probably thought, was going to be, you know, the one who's dead because seems like the one that everyone hates, which is usually how these things work. <laughs> but apparently not. Or, hey, twisty things happen, so hey. But, you know, the, the thing we all love to watch. Daniel Craig as the anti-James Bond. <laughs> um, you know, that was the most fun discovery in... And actually, the funny thing is, is that there's a... um. Oh, gosh. Oh, darn it. What was the name of this film? This was years ago. It was a heist. It's like the anti-heist film. Um, Steven, I believe Steven Soderbergh uh, directed it. It was a Channing Tatum. Um, oh, gosh. I don't remember what this was. I should have researched this before I mentioned it. But anyway, well, what happens is that Channing Tatum, it's set in, uh, set in West Virginia, I think. And 
He's got this plan to steal all this money from a NASCAR race because that's the smart thing to do if you want to make money and steal stuff, right? And of all the people to get involved is Daniel Craig, who is the explosives expert. Kind of a crazy explosives expert with the most insane southern drawl ever. And he was hysterical. Um, and, you know, it, 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 it's like he kind of drew upon that because, you know, it's Daniel Craig. And nine times out of 100, he's playing, 99 times out of 100, yeah, he's playing this badass, you know, Munich. The badass dude, you know, the one guy that could make the giant butterfly collar look cool um, was Daniel Craig, you know, goes on and on. And, you know, here he is going totally against type and seeming to have a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, you, you see in the trailers, very typical Benoit, you know, what we are expecting from Benoit Blanc, you know, when he's eating the elderberries. Oh, they've got a kick. Um, and I love the little bit at the end when, you know, he's talking about cool. He goes, I hate that game. Gotta check all these boxes, run around through rooms. Uh, so, yeah, it it looks like so much fun. Um, and I guess, you know, and when you look at the end of the trailer, um, it looks like it makes a run. It, it's first released in theaters. And then December 23rd, Netflix. Merry Christmas, baby. Yeah! Um, so there you go. Um, it, it looks, it looks exactly my, like the first film, a very fun offbeat murder mystery with lots of funky stuff going on. Um, so there you go. Um, I'm going to go because it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> but anyway, I saw this drop and I just had to post this. So anyway, um, hope you guys have a good rest of the week. May the force be with you. May the odds be in your favor. Especially you're one of the people invited to one of these events with Benoit Blanc and going, oh, great, now I'm a suspect too. Woo. <laughs> and as always, we're good to each other. Okay, peeps. Y'all take care. Peace. Bye.